Today, we're going to talk about how to define the color schemes in a waterfall chart. The goal of a waterfall chart is to show how an initial value is affected by the intermediate values, either the positives or the negatives, that result in a final value. So in this example, we can see how a starting amount evolves into an ending amount, similar in nature to how a monthly transaction report works. Now the formatting that I chose on this makes it real easy to see my positive versus my negatives. Every time a number goes up, I could see green. Every time a number goes down, I could see red. And for the grand total, I set it up to blue. Okay. But what if you want to change that coloring scheme? Paul provides a series of definitions that allow you to customize the colors that you want to appear on the waterfall chart. And the way that I would do that is within the chart, I can open up the properties window, go into the visualization tab, and go into the color section. Within the color section, you see that there are a series of values that allow you to look at the totals, the grand total at the end, the first column, how I want it to look, and my increases and decreases. And within each one of them, we have the opportunity to define different color schemes based on whether it's positive or negative. So what if I wanted my very first point, my starting point? In this particular chart, I'm starting at the total of 2020, I'm looking at my four quarters, and then I'm looking at my sum. What if I wanted 2020 to stand out? I can go into the setting for my first column, in this particular case it's positive, Go to my first column positive chart, I click on the color, and I have a color scheme that defaults out. Based on the default that I've chosen, I can change it. Let's say I wanted to make it black. I could say black is my starting point. And by changing that one setting, change the value on my chart. And Paul allows for even further customization based on whether it's positive or negative. So if I started with a negative, I could have changed this to make it into a negative. I can also make my ending results stand out a little bit different by looking at what we call the total. Right now I've got my total set to be blue. What if I wanted to change that? I could click on it, I can make it this orange color, and now it gives me the opportunity to customize that. This level of customization makes it real easy for me to define the starting point, the ending point, and all the pieces in the middle. Put this all together, and you can make this into a very easy to read report for your end users. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave us a like. And if you have any questions, please leave us a comment. And if you want to learn more about Plan Analytics, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to visit us at revelwood.com.